The Good Shepherd, Part 7. It's in this next line of Psalm 23 that David turns to address the shepherd directly and says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. David, as a shepherd himself, knows that there is a division line in the year for the sheep. They are led to higher ground where they will spend the summer grazing on alpine meadows above the timber line. The shepherd has gone on ahead to scout the trail and notes possible dangers that he and the sheep might encounter. During this time of the year, the flock is entirely alone with the shepherd. He is watching over them day and night, and that's why David could write, I will fear no evil. The parallel for us is that when we come to Jesus and follow him, we keep wanting more of him. And so, to go on to higher ground, we have to be prepared to walk with Jesus through the valleys. Jesus knows that the valleys are the gentlest way for ascending mountains and are also well-watered routes. It's right in the midst of these valleys, or in the midst of our difficulties, that we receive the best refreshment from God and that we become a blessing to others. It's in the valleys that the sheep can partake of the riches of feed. But it's also a place where the shepherd must be constantly on guard because there are coyotes, bears, wolves, and cougars lurking and ready to pounce on some poor and unexpected sheep. The valleys are also subject to storms and flash floods. But remember, the shepherd has already scouted out places of safety along the way. Jesus knows all the dangers we'll encounter when he leads us through the valleys of our lives. He also knows where we can find strength and courage, despite threats of disaster. It's because of this that fear fades and tranquility takes its place in our minds and hearts. It's these treks into the high country with Jesus that bring holy, healthy, and calm living with God. We then become somewhat of an inspiration to others who are prone to panic. Jesus assures us that in the world we will have trouble. But then he says, take heart, I have overcome the world.